Hey everybody, it's Susie Shulton with Midget Realty. I am at 40177 Avalona Avenue in Avon, North Carolina. It is July 5th, right about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to tour this home. This home is listed for sale by Trisha Midget of Midget Realty, so not my listing. It is a three-bedroom, two-bath home, approximately 8,000 square foot lot, with the property being approximately 1,232 square feet feet built in 1998 now I do have information I do have a home inspection online this property is fairly rough it's going to take someone coming in and giving it a good facelift um, this house is on the sound side in Avon so it is just you do have to go down the street here uh, that stop sign down there is highway 12 you cross right over the street and in the distance you can see the walkway up the stairs there to the beach so it is not far but you do have to cross highway 12 to get to the beach this house is however canal front and we will see that from the porch uh, the septic on this property is original which is not 1998 actually that is 1988 so septic is a lot older than the house itself As I mentioned, this house just came on the market today. We'll tour around outside here before we go in. It was a long-term tenant-occupied home, and I will tell you, I've been through the house inside. It does smell a little doggy in there. They do still have the HVAC on. You can see this back set of stairs needs a little love. And they had a fenced-in area here for the dog. Nice little yard. Cute. There's the septic tank. There is an outside storage area that does have, I guess the dog used to come in and out and stayed in this area. Uh, the walls do not necessarily go all the way down. Home inspection, again, is available upon request. Uh, looks like a well pump here, so potentially not county water. And then a very tiny hot water heater out here in this unheated or uncooled space. Pilings are eight by eight. There is concrete parking under the house. I don't see yet any signs of any rot. You can see out to the canal from down here. It's not a deep water canal. We're not talking boats. It's definitely a shallow water canal. Kayaks, maybe paddle boards, but from what I've seen of it in the past, um, there are some overhanging branches that may prohibit a paddle board. Outdoor shower out here. HVAC, according to the uh, home inspection, is just about shot. It is there in the back. And there's more of the backyard. Cute little treed and fenced area. And check out that pine tree. That thing is gnarly. So HVAC is about shot. Don't know anything about the roof. It didn't, wasn't mentioned as being a problem, so that's always good also isn't mentioned as being new let's walk on up the front steps here property line probably goes about to that telephone pole that's usually where we delineate property lines here house across the way there is a rental nice little front porch area up here one thing that they did mention on this house is that the siding is also in bad shape in a lot of places there's that canal no access so i mean you'd have to build or clear out a spot for there to be access to get kayaks into the canal um, it does empty out into the sound it is also a potential flooding issue and you can see down the side here the siding is just dis in disrepair It does look like it's just T111, which is a plywood siding, comes on, comes in sheets, so it might be something easy to replace. All right, so you enter this front door here, which is a slider, and you enter right into the living room. You 
you've got some windows that a home inspection did bring up some windows this looks like it might just be dirt brought up some windows as being well broken and some window sills as being rotten carpet in this room is just shot and that is staining on the carpet probably from um, the dog there is some staining up here on the ceiling like a mildewy look it's not necessarily directly water it could be an inefficient HVAC system causing this hot air to, to have condensation up here it's also a pretty cruddy paint job and this paint is super thin I have a feeling the whole room was painted this gray color and they have painted and you can see where they just didn't do a very good job um, that is like wallpaper so that is not a shiplap of any kind it is wallpaper it's a good sized room though and that would be electric I guess there's no gas tank outside although there was mention in the home inspection report of a gas line under the house that is not properly capped off so we do not have in-ground gas here it is all propane uh, tank so here's the kitchen it does have sheet vinyl on the floor the cabinets and the are in a fairly bad state of disrepair all of the laminate is coming off of them the floor is sticky sinks in good shape faucet not so much appliances uh let's see yep does have a dishwasher that's that stick on tile type just sticky backsplash actually just paper <laughs> like a wallpaper again the home inspection does point out this switch plate being over open and then you know you're missing some of their tiley work again a lot of work needs to be done in the kitchen bedroom here one little window carpet and all the seams of the carpet are just wretched washer and dryer I'm guessing they stay with the house the HVAC is set at 75 and it is cooling it's running it's just falling apart little closet there is an attic access here and then you have a hall bath um, the floor is a mess and I don't know if that is rotten under there or if that is okay also noted in here that these spots that you can see on the wall are a mildew of some kind probably because that fan doesn't work it is an all-in-one shower enclosure and it doesn't appear to be in poor condition it's just old and the commode the whole vanity is falling apart just like the kitchen cabinets this does have an access to the bedroom they have put in some kind of a pocket door and that leads into the bedroom with the uh, funky ceiling if you've seen pictures online if this is that bedroom that door goes out to the stairs that we saw that are somewhat disrepair there's no handle on that door just a lock carpet again just dirty And then we have the, what they would consider the main bedroom with the ensuite. Again, carpet is just wretched. This window is completely shot. You can see, you can put your finger right through there. So, new window needed. And then we have the ensuite bathroom here vinyl on the floor, sheet vinyl original vanity and then you have the tub enclosure which again all one piece all here in good shape there's no cracks that I can see 
the wall around it is awful. That happens a lot at the top of these shower enclosures, especially when if the shower head does anything crazy and breaks. And then there's been some sort of water damage up here on the ceiling. Now, whether that came from the roof or some kind of HVAC pan up there, hard to say. So that is the Evlona house. The neighbor across the street says there were all kinds of contractors over here looking at the house. Um, and they say that there is some rot underneath. I don't know where. I don't have any kind of contractor estimates on what it would cost to do the work in here. And again, the home inspection didn't mention anything as defective on the roof. Now, I will let you know we are very close to Avon Medical Center right here. That's with the windsock you can see over here in the distance. That's the helipad for the medical center. So the um, helicopter can land there if needed for emergency purposes. And the medical center is just right around the corner. Generally, a quiet neighbor. All right. I'm not making the walk to the beach. It's probably a good 10 minute walk to get over there. The Avon beaches are beautiful. Nice and wide with nice high supportive dunes. Here's your neighbor's house over here. Let's look at some more of this siding issue. I mean, again, the pilings look to be decent. I didn't see anything in the report about any kind of bad pilings. The driveway is gravel, and the county doesn't care if the driveway is gravel, so that's good. Here is the worst of the siding, and this, this is the side of the house. I mean, it's getting the afternoon sun right now. So you can see that it is gapped up. mostly at the seams. Could you fix it? Possibly. Could you replace it? Absolutely. And here's that canal. So not only is it getting the sun hitting directly off of the sun, it's getting the sun reflecting off of the canal. So double whammy on the sun. Back side of the house is covered in lichens and there's a bit of a wave with that wall you can see some of the missing coils on the HVAC but yeah there's a, this siding is definitely a little bit of a bubble and then of course you have the rotten window all right that is the video for four where are we 40177 Avalona Avenue. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to this channel and get more videos as they become available here in Hatteras, North Carolina. Happy to make videos of any properties that someone wants to see. If you need to reach out to me, you can make a comment below. I will respond or you can reach out to me in any of my uh, phone or email. All that information is in my bio. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.